Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. Hell yeah. Welcome back to Pacific Drive and welcome to our first stream on the full release as it is out now for everybody on Steam. Good to see you all here. We'll continue where we left off from last night doing a couple mega extendo streams for the release of this game. And uh, yeah, I'm going to post some real cool stuff today on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, further unboxing some cool stuff that the developers sent over. Um, the wonderful little red toolbox that they sent over with this included. They sent over a lovely uh, mechanics uniform with my name on it too. And it's uh, really nice. So boom, right there. Check that out. Nice. There's a lot of other cool stuff in there too. So exclamation point Instagram. Exclamation point Twitter. And I'll put up some extra detailed photos today on some other cool stuff that they sent over. Let's go ahead and get back in and uh, continue. This game's out now, everywhere, like worldwide release. Check it out wherever you want to get it for pricing. It looks like it's about 26 bucks USD on Steam, but it could be different wherever you choose to get your game. So just check your favorite marketplace for that one. Can't recommend this game enough. Great price, uh, great game. Oh my God, who stole my car? Oh, oh boy, we were robbed. I'm just kidding. This, I did this. All right. So uh, yeah. Uh, so last night we got back to the uh, to the base and ripped the whole car apart, including the engine and everything. Uh, just not the battery. But we're doing um, a big O upgrade today. Uh, we have unlocked a few things for insulation, which allows us to be protected against uh, electricity. So we're going to basically upgrade everything, uh, including the engine, which was a little damaged. So I figured, hey. You know, everything was damaged. We may as well start from scratch. So let's go ahead and get started. Love the game and your game plan. Hooked on watching you. Oh, good. good. All part of my evil plan, dude. My evil plan is to get you guys to get in here and then enjoy yourself and have a good time whenever you want. Hopefully, you're enjoying your time. So welcome. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Good to see you. How is the chat today? I am good. I hope you're good, too. That is, this is gorgeous. I feel like I could just log into this game just to... Uh, just to watch the rain outside. Reading Rainbow. Yeah, this this to me was either Reading Rainbow or The More You Know. So I had to get the little star. Oh, it's actually, is it, oh, it's actually LED, like it's blinking. Or the light's moving. A little shooting star. Look at that. Well, we're going to customize the car today, too. We're going to go with the orange, uh, you know, like the hunting orange, and then camo. Why is it giving me trash? Oh, that's good. I'll take that. No, not that. No. Oh, free engine. I'll take that for sure. Oh, it's kind of damaged. Nope. Not going with that. I'll take the health kit for free. That's good. Everything else is no thank you, I think. Okay, we'll throw that in the vacuum. that cleaned everything up. Oh good, it did. Uh, I'll take canned food as well. And everything else is trash. Now wait, can I take the carbureted engine? Oh, okay. Alright, well, uh, let's start with the engine then. We'll do a new carbureted engine. Drop that bad boy in. Sweet. Uh, let's start with the. Uh, we'll do the paneling. The upgraded panels, the insulated panels. These will protect us against electrical, electrical damage. Oh yeah, that's cool. Love it, baby. So essentially, this is like the steel paneling in terms of its armor value, but with uh, protection against electricity. Which seems to be a common thing out there. Electrical damage. Okay, give me some more. I'm gonna make a bunch of metal sheets. How do we make metal sheets? Need a 
lot of those. We'll start with 15 there, I think that was. Hmm. Eager gamer, yeah. We're starting earlier today. I, you know, I kind of started our usual time yesterday, and that, that felt late. It's like, I'm late to my early, uh, my usual time stream. I just wanted to get more time in on this one. And Nightingale. And a rail route today. We're going to play that too because trains. And Elmox wanted me to play it. And he's a good friend. And today's going to be a busy day. The game's enjoyable as hell. If you've played, um, well, I mean, if you've watched any sci fi, like, you know, Stranger Things or E.T. or any, basically any 80s sci fi movie and or movie whatsoever, even though this takes place in 98, it's got, it's just got all sorts of great vibes. It, it just, I really, I really recommend this one, truly. If you like, if you like a lot of the survival games you've seen on the channel, I think this one's for you. Wait, is the car up on blocks? What the hell is under the front of the car? It looks like the brakes are mounted above the. Why the? Oh, I see. Okay. That door looks awesome. What's up, Scooter Show? Hello. Keep popping these bad boys on. What's up, Eden? Did that door already? This game is growing on you? Good. Insulated headlights. Uh, yes. I think we could try to get those. Why are you not using your handbrake? Because it might break. Oh, we need more plasma for that. A lot more plasma. Okay. So we don't have everything we need. Last couple of runs, we were stopping for plasma as much as we could. Okay, well the good news is, everything else is insulated. So just the panels won't be. So we need a lot more plasma. But we've been stopping every time we had seen it. Okay, let's do more steel sheets. There must be some in the in storage already. I don't think we'll need that. I'll throw that in the car. Actually, We'll yeah. We'll need those. I'm gonna need that. Okay, so more plasma is needed. You watching the stream from school? Hell yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Wait. Headlights. We have reinforced headlights. Can't get those yet. We can get insulated headlights, but we have to upgrade the workbench to tier 2. 
And this upgrade's gonna cost one, so we'll be out of points. Ooh, good good uh, point. Armored bumper for impact. That That is a good point. We'll need some more energy for that. But that is a good thought. Good thinking, chat. Good thinking. That's some, that's some big brain plays right there. Okay, another steel bumper. Now we need some rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby buggy bumper. And two more. Car's looking a lot nicer already, ain't it? Woo! And we gotta do the headlights, too. Yeah, the so the car works bench and the garage workbench are both level one but the level one garage workbench is more advanced already I think the workbench in the garage always can do more than the car so or I think it's like the level one workbench is like a level 0.5 for the car so if we upgrade the workbench in the car to level two it then becomes like the level one workbench you see it's like we need a couple upgrades to catch up with it so, like, we can make crude doors and stuff for the car in the field, but if we want to make steel doors, we have to upgrade it. But we can make the steel doors here already. A little, little tricky. But manageable. Didn't I need another panel? Or did I... Oh, yeah, I did. I thought so. Okay! I don't want to use that orange paint until we've got all insulated, so we're not going to paint it this time. But you can imagine how sweet it's going to look. Damn. Okay, let's get those headlights on. Oh yeah, no, I'm uh, yep, I'm under full fl influence of the remnant already. Yep, full full obsession with this game already. Yep. This is amazing because if you like, you know, car mechanics, like if you just like cars in general, this could be a gateway for a lot of people into like a, a driving game that is a survival game too. Probably a lot of people out there who like racing games and driving simulators never really played a survival game like this. Yeah, the handbrake works. We tried it out when we left our garage like a day ago. All right, let's check, uh, do maintenance now. I don't think we have any more quirks. I think we got rid of them all. No, f wait, is that nothing? Wait, one says diagnostics required. Uh-oh. There is one hidden quirk again. Let's, uh... Well, I guess we'll just have to find that in the field. Okay, so there's a quirk, but we don't know what it is. But we fixed all the other ones last time. So something new now. Okay, so let's do... Repair of these. With Bondo. Do, do. That's pretty much 99%. And everything else should be full repair, including the engine. 
All right, so uh, our friend wants us to go back to Siriam to uh, meet with the anomaly. But I feel like that's going to push forward the main story, and if it pushes forward the main story, that's going to push forward the difficulty. We might want to make sure we're prepared for that a little bit. I do want our health kits. Oops. I think we need a scrapper. I don't know if I put one in storage. Take those flares, though. Grab the rest of the Bondo. Bondo stacks to three. Okay, flare gun. We might salvage that later. Sealant kit. Got a pry bar. We can use that later. Another flare gun. More MREs. More food in general. Oops. Okay, we need to make a scrapper. Yeah, the Yeti door survived. I can't repair it though. Like I, I want to put it in. I thought I could put it in here and repair it, and it's like no. And it's like what? Well, I think that should be patched. Like, I don't understand why a player can't repair a. You find a really cool, rare-looking door, and they won't let you, like, salvage it. I mean, uh, repair it. It's like, what? Am I going to put the doors on the wall? Yeah, that's an upgrade I have to buy. And I do not have points for that. So, new order of business is going looking for plasma. Going looking for more upgrade points. So she wants us to go up to Echo 1. You trying to figure out how to pay me a visit? Don't bother. By regular standards, I'm about 10 miles west of you. In zone terms, consider me on another planet. There's a valley of perpetual instability in closing my corner of the zone, and yes, I chose to live here for that exact reason. <sighs> Leave an old woman in peace. Okay, ma'am. Well, this area has perpetual stability. Looks like we could do a double jump there. Yeah, this would be good for research and good for... Now we have two limited areas. Yeah, let's do a standard. Alright, we're going to do a double. Okay, final checks. Leave one of those. I can't break any of that down, so we're good. Yes, we got a drop pod, yes. On our first day, our first early look day, we were able to get a rare drop pod, which was really cool. Yo, Disney dude, thank you very much for following on Twitch as well. All right, let's get out of here. Test for quirks while we're out here. Oh, it's the damn headlight thing again. I thought we fixed that. Oh, wait, I didn't. That's the only quirk is the headlight thing. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, it does. I think we diagnosed the quirk and then I reloaded for some reason. So we need to re-diagnose it. But we don't have... 
I think we need to unlock circuit boards in order to make the elec the electricians kit to fit that fix that. Okay. Oh, look at that. I haven't scanned. I didn't scan a van. That's one thing we need to scan. And there's another anomaly here. So we got to scan one more anomaly. And if we find a van, we got to scan it. Apparently there's vans here. Heavy fog. That sucks. Let's get to looting. Wow. there's plasma up here we've also been finding a lot of trailers but a lot of them have not had plasma this one might yes Also, we got an upgrade for ourselves, too, that should give us 20% radiation protection. We're getting more protected against radioactivity. Yeah, that fog is beautiful. Whenever I think of, like, you know, Seattle, well, really just the state of Washington and Oregon, I just think Goonies, and I just think about how beautiful that, that, that part of the world is. So pretty, all those trees and stuff. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Wait. Yep. Leave me alone, radioactivity. Go home. I think I just heard a noise when we sat down in the car. Sounded like he put his seatbelt on. That's cool. Any vans out here? Let me check. Best we can. Oh, damn. Wow, it's so foggy I couldn't even see that damn thing. Uh, looks like two towers and a barn. Let us convert pry bars to lead platelets? Oh my god. Oh, that's so rare and specific. Oh, we need a lot of scrap metal. No way. We could come back here. That's an amazing conversion. I'm at least going to convert one of those. What? Oh, it needs multiple, probably. Doesn't say a conversion rate, though. So I didn't scan that thing. Damn it. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure how many it needs. We'll try two. Two 
two to one. Okay. Well, there goes my pry bar, but uh, it was worth it. Oh, and I need this. Oh, wait, this might. Will this shut the machine off? Actually, I'm curious to know. Even though it may shut down the machine. We probably won't have time to come back here anyway. Yep, still works just fine. We need duct tape too. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I hear geese. Well, that was cool. Didn't know we could get that. That's amazing. <sighs> you watch on both YouTube and Twitch. One on the one on the TV too. Wow. Hey, that's cool when you guys do that. It like warms my heart that people are like not just, you know, peeking in on their phone from time to time, which people do. But some some people are like, dude, I got you on the living room, the office. I got you in the neighbor's house. But dude, the, the whole neighborhood's watching. Dude, Raptor, you're on the neighborhood watch. It's like, I don't know how I feel about that. But thank you, dude. <laughs> We're watching you, pal. Which is cool, so thank you. Uh, cosmetic items can be used... Uh, the paint and the decals will eventually be used up, and you have to, of course. Uh, we'll, we'll have to, uh... Be refound. But stickers are forever. Trans gear to canned food. No. So yeah, stickers, steering wheels, anything that's not paint that's decorative you can reuse. Or sticker. Um, paint and decals. Do deplete. Okay, let's keep looking around. I love that lead platelet thing, though. That's got me so excited. Let's go to the barn, though, because that could have... Oh, that's not what I marked. The barn. Why is it marked in there? I don't know why it's marking next to the barn. I want to mark the barn. Mark's not even showing up on the screen. That's weird. Oh. Hovering picnic table. Get some arc juice down here. Time to go downhill, baby. Let's listen to some tunes. Oh, 
Oh good, Spark Tower. Okay, let's get this. Now I'm on in both rooms, damn. Chance got me like worldwide. Yeah, the car is looking good. We're not even like full, we didn't get the full upgrades that we wanted. We're looking for more plasma so we can get the uh, full insulation against electricity. I do want to get more scrap metal, but to hold off on that. Okay. No plasma. Need a pry bar to get in there. I can make a few of those and get more. Man, I would gladly, if we had a big old haul of like duct tape and uh, scrap metal, I would gladly make like 20 pry bars and try to ch uh, trade that for 10 uh, lead platelets. We'll have to be ready to do that. Okay, where are we going? need to exit north. Let's go down there. I'm not seeing as many vans as we used to. Like the little commercial delivery vans. I wonder if we have high-powered, uh, like, fog lights we can put on this bad boy. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Park tower, lovely. Good to see. Stop and get that. Feed the loot goblin. That was a good shirt idea. Feed the loot goblin. Okay, our impact hammer broke. All good. Impact hammer requires a gear and a gas cylinder. Need more metal for that. The zone's already closing. Uh, 
All right, we're out of time. <laughs> I like leaving the car with the door open because then I could just hear the music and I don't. I don't even look where the car is anymore. I just go to the sound. Oh, I do want to get that though. I do want that juice. Now we gotta get that. If there's an opening, maybe there'll be a van. my own car. Alright. Unless we see a van, let's head to the exit. Or an Arta truck. Speaking of which... That's a tow truck. Go northeast, let me confirm. North, we want to go north. There's a house up here, we can stop at that. Can't wait till we get our loot radar. Look at that, she had a van, all right. Beautiful. Where do we build the sawn off AK-47 in this game? I haven't seen any guns. I need to put some stuff away. Oh, don't forget to scan. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Scan, scan, scan. Scan the van. Thank you, chat. Nope, don't want the tire. Yeah, those vans have like the, all the decals. Like I, in my experience, they have the most. So it's like the if you're looking for paint decals and like you know new steering wheels and stuff or whatever, those are mostly that. That's what that has the most of. But you can find them other places too. Hell yeah, wood paneling. Adds like 0% armor, dude. All the armor. Zone is closing, but it's far away. I need that plasma. It's on our shopping list today. So we should call this chat. It's going out shopping. Just out shopping. Just doing a little shopping. This one's got three. Let's go. We've got all the money. Yeah. Oh, he broke it himself. Oh, if you don't have an impact hammer, can you have that thing break its own? I'm not sure, actually. 
maybe it's just because I hit the back end of it, but maybe you can have that thing electrocute the glass and it'll break? Question mark? Oh, also, these things don't always seem to drop plasma, which is weird. Not every one of the plasma things seem to have plasma. Wow, that was a purple car. What do we got? Should be like a telephone in here or something. Yep, knew it. Checking for dumpster. Nope. Now let's check and see if anything useful is in the trunk. Goblin Channel? What the hell? Huh. Cat Jam. Scanning for vans. Those rocks look decep deceptively like those trucks, well, especially in this heavy fog. All right, on to area two. Oh, love that music, man. All right, that was a good run. Uh, on to the extendo run now. Blistering Woods Town Center. Looks like there's an audio log here. There was one more hazard in that area, too. There's some more hazards that are around, but we're not finding yet. Oh, and I didn't scan that, um, the repair station. The, the one at the very top of this list in black. Not recognized. There's like a repair station. Bruh. I need to scan that, too. Oh, this says junction conditions shocking speed. Does that mean if we speed, we get electrocuted? What does that mean? How do I learn more about that? I don't know what that means. Maybe if we go fast enough, it'll charge our battery. That could mean anything. It could mean we take, take damage... It could mean our car gets electrified in certain parts where we can't open like a door without being electrocuted.
All right, first things first. Lead platelets. You stayed up till 3 a.m. to get the release and played till the first zone. Not as easy as you make it look. You pl you stayed up till that late. I'm proud of you. Also, yeah, this is not necessarily an easy game. We've had a ton of fun with it. Also, there are lots of settings that you can customize too to make it a lot easier. But easy's not bad. Like it, it's your game. You you bought it. You do with it what you want with it. You know. If the devs give you the option to paint the car pink and that's what you want to do, you go for it. You want to make it the hardest game in the world and put on all the settings to heart. Go for it. Can't wait to get home and play. Good. Good. Well, I hope me playing has shown most of you what not to do. Hope you've learned that way. Throw that pondo in here. Oh no, no, what the hell? Oh no. Oh no. If the car gets electrocuted, it just takes off. Even with the parking brake on. Oh no. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna be very bad. Bro, that. Oh, the parking. Was the parking brake. Well, maybe it disengaged the parking brake. Oh my god. That's bad. I don't, I don't know if the parking brake was on and then that disengaged it. I don't know. Car took some damage. Now we have a flat tire. Oh, I need this lead though. There's a repair stop. Oh my god, shit. Oh my god, shit. Ah! Oh my god. Parking brake, parking brake, parking brake. Okay. Okay, and we're here. Not great. Okay, so that literally comes out of nowhere. Oh great, now there's the yellow stuff of death. I hate this. I hate this. This 
stuff's too important. Someone clipped that, thank you. So it looks like at any time those electrical things can come out of the ground. Look out where the car go. Very bad. Oh, there's more lead. I see it. Hard to see when it was all turning yellow. They're trying to kill me. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Ugh, now we got flat tires and stuff. This sucks. Maybe we would we we should park the car up against something so if it takes off, it won't go anywhere. Yeah, you have a central base in this game. Yeah, the car garage. Imagine that the best thing ever. Work car. No, the car speeding like that is like an area modifier. It's like sometimes there's heavy fog or sometimes your car will just go 0 to 100 real quick. Apparently. Lead shielding's good though. You get radiation protection. Okay, I'm gonna say screw it to the lights. We're just gonna go for the lead. We could be out of time. I do want the electronics though from the computers. That's what attacked me. It was a wriggling wreck. Those sit in the middle of the roads. Damn it, there's lead right there. How do they? Oh, it's because the car was parked there. Okay, so anytime we get electrocuted. However, the car was still earlier and it just took off. Okay, instead of repairing the tire, I'm going to go over here and see if this station will repair us. Man, there's so much lead. Great. Twin turbo and nitrous. We can upgrade the engine, uh, but it's incredibly expensive for one of the materials. It's like, you know, when we blow up those tourists, 
Every once in a while, those tourists maybe possibly will drop like one... I forget what it's called, thermal paste or whatever it is. And we need 42 of those. So it's like we'd, we'd almost have to have like 85 encounters to maybe even have the possibility. At least in my experience. Harder record keeper. Discover 300 logbook entries. I did. Apparently the car is repaired, but did it repair a tire? Did not. Why the hell would... Glass shards go into a repair kit? I don't think that's going to replace a... Hey, I have a flat tire. Oh, let, let me get some glass shards in there for you. Oh, thanks. I see, I see. I think we're going to run out of time here. I'm going to go to that one, then the audio tape, and then maybe into town. I think the zone's going to close pretty soon. I looked for vans and order trucks on the way. Oh, is that a oh, tow truck? Man, it's amazing how quickly this car can get full. Let's see if that works. It does. Okay. Oh, damn it. There we go. Hit myself in the noggin. The car should make R2-D2 screams when the lightning <laughs> strikes it. Oh, yeah. Well, that engine screams, brother. Screams free. I want all the lead we can get. Because also we can give our character lead protection, too. Oh, no. Oh, good. So that thing's called a wriggling wreck. Essentially it disguises itself as like a rock, but it's actually like a pile of cars, and that's what shocks you. Luckily we went right into it, so we didn't go too far. Oh hey, perfect. Beautiful, look at all that loot. Gorgeous. Did I scan it? Um, we'll have to see. Let's see. Yep, we did.
Okay. Kind of hard to get everything. I wish our character could get a damn uh, flashlight like that they don't have to hold. There is a flashlight in the game, but it's... You have to put it in your hand, and it's like, well... Can I, like, put on a headlamp or, like, a... Like, one that you wear in your pocket or whatever? Uh, we need to go down the hill. Do not get electrocuted. Looks like we can make it through here. Nope. Good. We're good. That's a rock. food. What's the likelihood the player character is wearing flannel? Probably 103 million percent. I looked it up too. These devs are actually like based in Seattle. These, these same folks worked on games like uh, Ratchet and Clank and like, um, like Hello Neighbor and stuff and I'm like oh yeah. I could see like some weird connection to those for sure. I gotta go into the hell to get that. Damn it. Oh no. Don't go by to the car. Well, there went the car. Oh, good. there it goes. This one's the worst. This is, by the way, a relatively safe area in the game. Like, we're in area, like, one. Like, where we've been doing everything is supposed to be, you know, fun and safe. Not really, but, you know. Oh, yeah, that thing takes off. The Definitely takes off the brake. No, not again. Oh, this is Farm Pavement, uh, 21.1. And, uh, just put down a little warning on the radio. Uh, good food, that we've got lava. Um, not really sure where they came from, but we've got about a herd of 200 and 300. Llamas? Damn. Llamas? Bro, llamas are amazing. Oh, hello. It's free stuff. Hey, a dumpster. Hey, buddy. No! Ah, damn you, wind. I think that was just a vacuum, though. Anything else? I'll try to catch it when it comes out. Scrap metal and stuff. And it's gone. Yeah, that was just a vacuum, I think. Yeah, everything's been 
blow away. All right. Looks like different items might have different weights, though. PC Gamer this month did a feature article on this game. Good. I love this game. It's so good. Go up to the audio log. I feel like those are important, but I'm not sure how. We're running out of time. Let's get this audio thing. Oh, yeah, the zone's closing too. All right, time to leave. Last Epoch. Oh yeah, is that good? People were talking about that, and also... Here's what we know. Over 50 years ago, in November of 1946, Dr. Ophelia Turner good was lore, Good lore, good lore. She had recently returned home to the Olympic Peninsula to lick her wounds after a failed stint in academia. In a fit of obsession, or redemption, or, quite frankly, both, she cobbled together a laboratory in her basement and produced the first limb wave on nothing but a killer hunch and plain ingenuity. Or so the story goes. It's never clearly stated anywhere what limb waves and limb technology really were. It's all vague claims and wild theories, dreams that border more on the mystical than the scientific. We have time. We do know I'm gonna get led. limb stood for unlimited frequency. Radio waves, once souped up and modulated just right, supposedly enabled the control of matter in a way that modern science both back then and now could only dream of. After Dr. Turner's discovery, she and a few friends, scientists and PhDs all, toyed with Lim in their garage labs for about four years. The local police and fire departments start making regular house calls, spurred on by increasingly disgruntled neighbors calling in about incidents that seem to grow larger and more disturbing as the years go on. After one too many reports, the federal government takes notice, and thus begins their severe interest in limb technology. The next part happens quickly. In 1955, the United States government seizes not only the physical area where Dr. Turner and her scientists live, but the entire concept of limb technology. The area is at first evacuated under the pretense of safety, but quickly commandeered by the government. They establish a brand new department called ARDA, Advanced Resonance Development Authority, which was to be headed by Dr. Turner herself. Over the next 15 years, the government expands the zone's borders. They clear out civilians as they go and erect massive 500-meter walls to keep out an increasingly curious public. The zone started in the northernmost tip of the peninsula, then expanded outward twice. Once in 1961, again in 1967, to the outer perimeter we see now. Really? Oh, let's get out of here. We didn't have time for everything, but the lead and the plasma was good. Well, that was some delicious, delicious lore. So the lady on the radio was basically the head of that government department. And the government, just like Disney, seized ownership of, uh, <laughs> of a natural occurrence known as radio waves. Uh, do we're copywriting that? Oh, okay. Also, we own air and oxygenation of blood. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have been bad. It happens. Boop. 
Well, this one's going to be uh, easy. Oh, look at that. There was a drop pod all the way to the left on the west side of the map. That was probably the worst drop ever. That one's a 500% hell no. Okay, well, we didn't get to any of the buildings, but we got lore and tons of uh, lead, so we got better radiation protection. So that's damn good. What's up, Seth? Welcome, dude. Anchor plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. The Basically, limb stands for unlimited. They delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. We now know what limb means. <sighs> okay, let's go to... Oh, yeah. I need you. Let's turn on the radio. Eh, maybe not. Oh, Last Epoch's, like, easier than Path of Exile. Man, that's the type of game I want to play with Jerry. Or She Fox. I don't know if She Fox is into those games. I'm pretty sure she probably would be. She seems like a nerd. She hangs out with a bunch of them, so... Referring to myself. Okay, let's pop in. What is this? Heading north. We got some new paint colors. Uh, yep, and yep. points. <laughs> Alloy is the Epoch dev. He's working for Big Epoch trying to sell more Epoch, dude. This guy over here. Dude, he's been hanging out in the chat for years, just waiting for his moment to, to promote Big Epoch. <laughs> We're on to this guy. We know his big plan. More Helldivers? Absolutely. We'll be trying to play some of that today. We'll see. There just was a big patch, too, so I don't know if that fixes the... I don't know. Well, we'll try today. Um, I really want to play more with Bradford, Red, and uh, Colt because I kind of feel like we started it all together, but we'll see who comes around. Maybe the dirty one. Okay. Um, well, let's heal up two. Eldivers 2 patch causes crash on PS5 and PC server offline. It causes a crash to the server offline. Okay. And then... Oh man, we got lots of loot. I want to see if we can uh, actually get anything radioactive pr protection. Look at that. Oh, we got 81 while we're out there. Let's go. I love that. I feel like maybe upgrading ourselves to be radioactive protective is probably better than the car. Well, the car too, but... I feel like we as a person, when we get out of the car, we're so vulnerable and squishy when we get out into those... Oh, we need Olympium fragments to get the next tier. I'm getting the lead le line coat. I like how it gets brighter. Oh, right, if you can do it. So, this, so we were at 20% radiation resistance. This is 40. The next one is 40 plus blocks radiation greater than 2.5. Oh. So it can never go above 2.5. Not great, not terrible. Give me that for sure.
Um, okay, anything else? All right, well, we might be able to get those insulated panels. So as you've been seeing, yes, the electricity is certainly a common attack against us. Oh, yeah, the DM about uh, a contest in the Pacific Drive Discord server. Yeah. A few people told me about that. I didn't get a chance to check it yet. Is it cool? Is it like, who can be the ultimate goblin? Because I win. You have won. Pacific Drive. Congratulations. I think we're going for a full electric protection at this point. But what I really like too about this game is that, like with your car's armor, now that they put other things in like the, there's like the storage racks and stuff, and it's like, that's cool because then, you know, you look at the map and you're like, okay, this area is going to be really like, have a lot of electrical damage. So then you put on all your electrical armor and then... When you find out, oh, this one's going to have, I don't know, fire damage or something, then you can put on that. I don't know if that's a thing, fire damage, but just as an example. Thank you, Morgan, by the way, for your help. You've been, uh, you're always helpful. Extra. I've noticed the extra help. You're just more free. Thank you. Dreamers can win custom bobblehead created for the... Streamers can win a custom bobblehead created for them and have their voice recorded as a radio transmission to be heard in the game. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we might have to do this. We still don't have enough plasma, damn it. All right, well, we'll get the upgraded bumper. Chat, I could be in another game. It'd be like Dave the Diver. Po oh, my God. Dude, I can have my yearly appearance in a game. Oh, look at this. That is cool as hell. Look at that. That reminds me of the... You ever go to the bumper cars and you see that pole coming out of the bumper car and it's got kind of like that bent? It's kind of that bent thing at the top to stick to the ceiling. Chad, I could be immortalized in every one of my favorite games. I just got to get into Dredge now. Uh, let's be honest. They modeled Cthulhu after me in that game. I mean, look, you know, clearly they didn't, they didn't ask to use my likeness, but I'm not going to complain. You know, I remember there was a time when Anno 1800 was coming out too, and they were putting people into there. I, my feelings are still hurt that they didn't put me into Anno. I made so many videos and talked with them so often. And I remember asking, I was like, oh, are you, can you guys put me in the game? And be like, yeah, that'd be cool. Wouldn't it? Winky face. They never did. And a bunch of goobers who only played it once were in there. Which is totally fine. They earned it. I'm not jealous or anything. I was just disappointed. But I'm in lots of games, so I shouldn't complain. Everybody deserves a shot. Yeah, that contest might be perfect for me. We might we might have to take a look at it. Because you all say I have a radio voice and I know how to narrate well. My reading skills sometimes are questionable because I get nervous when people watch me read. I don't know why. But then I goof up all the time and people are like, You're a bad reader! It's like, yep, that's why I goof up. It's a vicious cycle. Not you guys, but, you know, the after-the-stream commenters... It's like, I'm trying my best. No. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't need that. Make another imp... Do we need another impact hammer? Yep, let's make another impact hammer.
Now I want I want more Anno 1800 DLC, but I don't want any more cosmetics. Give me the Orient, damn it. Give me India, give me Japan, like pick one of those places or you know, do what they did with Africa where they called it M Mbessa and it was just kind of like Like I like that. I like when they try to combine all places into kind of one place. Cuz they have to get really creative with that. We got a couple of these now. Hopefully these will be all we ever need. I'll leave a backup in the car and a backup here. Boys, we got seven seven limbs. One more, we can become an octopus. Okay, um, So what were we working towards? Lead plated is good, but we're going to have to do... Each one of those is almost one. I don't know if I want to invest in lead plating yet. I think what we should do is find out what... What an upgrade needs for materials. Get the materials first, then buy the upgrade. Because to like spend points on an upgrade that we can't immediately use is kind of like a waste of points. You know what I mean? Uh, I love watching your your goofs. They make you who you are. I love you, Raptor. Yeah, that's true. Can you upgrade the scrapper to the plasma scrapper you found in, in the YouTube video? Uh, probably. Yes. But it's going to take some upgrading, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 got, I got shocked by that, too. I was like, oh, I never saw that before. That's new. I loved it. I love it. You know, maybe we should get the upgraded battery chat. Because if we start getting more drop pods or whatever, we might uh, need to use more electricity to use those special items. So I think an extendo battery would be good. Or maybe we could get a hydro generator on the other side of the car. I feel like it rains. I feel like the... Yeah, I, I feel like rain would be good. I, it feels like it rains more than anything else. High capacity XL. Here's one thing I don't like, though. Is that with these upgrades, here it shows that this requires stable energy. But I don't know what this one requires. And if I want to work to this one, if I buy this one, then that one. Or if I want, if this one requires stuff I can't acquire, then I might not want to go down that path yet until we start getting unstable energy, which is going to be more about going down the main story. But honestly, I feel like this initial area of the game is really meant for building. Like, I mean, you'll always be building the car, but at the start here, we've got to gather a lot of materials for all these other things. Like, for example, here, in order to uh, get the improved antenna. Well, that says integrated thermal sap heat sinks. Hmm. Anyway, all good. Incident board records the number of runs since your last, uh, you know. <laughs> you can't die in this game. I've never died. Car always saves me. Uh, that requires unstable energy, so we can't get that. I think we should focus solely on the car. So we can get insulated headlamps, but that requires the advanced workbench. Advanced workbench requires unstable energy, so we can't get that yet. Bio headlight. That one says to scan a tour bus anomaly. Oh no. If there's tourists, then there's a tour bus. I need to know what this is. They must have come up with some really interesting stuff in this game. That's weird. We can't get a... We can get the lead-plated panel, but we can't get the lead-plated bumper until we get more advanced research. How weird. Some things are so... locked behind such weird prerequisites. Hmm. 
Well, oh, that requires two energy. Jeez, man. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Side rack. I need to make a metal sheet. I'm trying to make ten of these. Throw those into Sturge. I made 10 of those. Anyway. What's trunk in the trunk? Oh, I can't get it. Uh, yep. Can't wait to see what's in zone 2. I know. I think we're getting closer there. Do I have any giveaways for this game? No. But if the devs reach out and uh, give me any keys, uh, they go straight to you guys. I gotta give our mods more keys to give away too. In general, I'm so busy streaming, I don't have time for the management side as much. And then everybody who is our lovely volunteers from Thurston, Morgan, Indra, Jerry, everybody gets busy with stuff. Everybody gets busy with life. Everybody does what Alex did, you know? Everybody disappears to their tropical island for two years and then comes back later. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, so let's do a... I want the rain generator. Rain generator. So it always seems to like pretty much more often than not it's always raining and also we're always getting hit by like lightning so that's going to be a good way to recharge the battery More plasma. Oh, I gotta fix that quirk too. Um, I guess we get the electronics kit if we research the circuit board. that electronics kit. Hmm. I don't see it. Pneumatic locker? Upgrade one of your lockers to make use of an extraordinary amount of underground storage space. Oh, you can store stuff underground. That's cool. Oh, looks like there's an auto repair station here. Urban fiber. Hmm. I don't see an electrician's kit here. What was that? Oh, ion shield. That was a nuclear bomb. Thank you. 
Hmm. We can diagnose this though. Um, headlights? No. When steering wheel swerves hard, headlights dim. Day's turning. There we go. We need electrician's kit for that. Chat, you're saying we already have that? Oh, maybe. Well, I might have one in the uh, in the storage, but I don't know why I can't make one. Also, I haven't seen one unless they changed the symbol for it. It should be a two by two big thing that looks like a bunch of like almost looks like this with like little lines coming out of it little dots and lines like that that's the ceiling kit probably red I don't know I don't know why we can't make that oh we might need the advanced workstation yeah you might be right yeah because in the demo we could make the advanced workstation in the full game we need to get unstable energy before we do that Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what else do we research? We got three points left. We we could save a lot of these points until. Well, I mean, we could go do main story stuff. So let's go. We could go do more main story. It's getting very interesting now. Even while we're doing the side story stuff, we just heard some main story stuff. Let's get some repairs done. We need a ceiling kit for that. And then a lot of repair putty and stuff. Okay, let's grab a repair kit. Putty. My putty and me. Nice. Yep, there's a problem right there. Okay. And those headlights do take a lot of damage. To be fair though, the car was plowing into a ton of trees on its own. Finally, for once, I'm not to blame. That's good enough. Well, you know, we, we could probably put some of these things in this red toolbox. I actually kind of wish we could craft these and put these around. It'd be kind of nice to be able to... I mean, it would be such small storage, a player would have to make hundreds of them, but... Let's see 
here. good on all the stuff we've got. That's fine. Good and good. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's do final checks and all call. It was there, I think. Oh, the electric skit? I don't know. I didn't. I looked. I didn't see it. It's not too big of a deal, but it is a quirk we would want to fix as soon as we can. That looks good. All right, let's save and pick our route. So she wants us to go back to uh, oh, extreme conditions. She wants us to go back to Sirium. looks a little more safe now. Also, it looks like the weather changes in the map, too. So, like, if you... If you need to go to an area, there could be, like, a big old dangerous splotch on that area. So it's like, well, I'm not going to go there this time. I'll go somewhere else. And then you just come back later, which is totally fine. It looks like there's one thing... What is this one? Barely plugged. Sad face. Does that just mean low... Limb. Oh, we could stay here forever, too. <gasps> we could do extra looting in Sirium. Do we want to bring... Do we want to bring Extendo storage again? I think we do. I think we're going to bring some extra storage. Yeah, the whole headlight thing is caused by the, uh, like a quote-unquote quirk. And a quirk essentially is something you can't, you can't fix it without identifying what it is first. It's, it's not like damage, it's like a condition. Whenever I'm looking at those, it's like I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What condition my condition was in. Okay, let's do more storage and then we're out of here. I love how it's literally just suitcases. By the way, I found out yesterday that you could just pull these suitcases off the car, go over to like a box. You can e you can look at the inventory and empty it out that way and then put it back on the car. So you don't have to go get that box or whatever it is. You can if you want. But you don't have to. I love the options. All right, let's go. Doing a last thought. Did I get everything? Yes. We also found out that they started... Expanding the wall and like, compl well, they said they started in 1967 and like a massive structure that huge. And maybe they finished it a few years later, like the 70s. But, like those walls have been abandoned for like 20 years. Cool. All right, so we're going to Echo Five to then go to Echo One. There's still one more anomaly. We don't know what the hell it is. Wait a minute. I think I know what it is. It's the abductor or whatever. The thing that'll take your stuff. 
I thought I scanned one of those right at the beginning of the game. Those dudes that'll just take your crap. I did, yeah. Well, it's not listed here, though. It says Stable Anchor, Spark Tower, Sizzling Mist, Wiggling Wreck, Bullard, and Can Opener. So that's the only one that's missing. I thought we scanned that damn thing. Like, for day one. Maybe it didn't count. Alright, well, we'll scan it this time. I'm pretty sure we scanned it. Eh, whatever. We know what we're looking for. Right, is Dino One Actual entering the AO? Subsection 4. The series says extreme conditions barely plugged. I don't know what that means. Sounds like a pretty good uh, drain, though, if it's barely plugged. Oh, and look at that, it's raining. Now you can see our thing is both trending up and down, so we're getting enough energy to charge the battery to run the lights. So essentially, as long as it's raining, we can leave the headlights on. Oh, I didn't even stop at the dumpster last time. The dumpster probably wouldn't have given us anything good, but it probably could have. Like, it probably was... Um, it could have been like a health kit or uh, maybe some repair putty. It's usually worth it. I just kind of forgot. All right, let's get the uh, lightning going. We'll leave the lights on. Is the dumpster still bugged? Um, I don't think so. I think it's okay now. It was mad at me. We had a talk after the stream. Okay, so it won't zap itself. All right. plasma. Remember you need tours. I do, yep. Tours. You love the steering wheel? Yeah. I think we may have unlocked more, but I'm not sure. Did that thing spark us? Oh, it must have. Take another one of those. crazy out there. Uh, I think it just got worse. Well, lots of spark towers. That's good. More plasma for what we need for upgrades. Love that. Wait, there's a wiggling wreck. Nice try, pal. Oh shit, he's got me. No, we're good. That's so hard to see that damn thing, like that just looks like a just a wreck on the road.
Okay. Scouting out the perimeter. Is there plenty of loot on this map? Yeah, every map has like too much loot, but uh The question is, how much time do you have to get it? The next map, we have an unlimited amount of time to loot everything. And I'm pretty sure, even though we went there, it'll still refresh. Even though it didn't, um, it's not an area that was, like, destabilized and remixed or whatever. It hasn't been affected by the zone, but I'm pretty sure there'll be new stuff there. Hope so. To our left. House coming up. There it is. Okay, the rain has stopped. Yo, Chris, thank you very much for the 39 months. Whoa, dude. 39 <laughs> big old months. What was everyone's first car? Mine was a 2003 Honda Civic. So generic, but it was stick shift, which was one of the best anti-theft devices around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Honda Civic. I, I went to school with a lot of people who eventually, like the first car that they bought after school was like a Honda Civic. For sure. Especially in college. And then... A lot of people drove that uh, Pontiac, what the hell was that car, Grand Prix. Tons of people had a Pontiac Grand Prix. Oh my god. It was like before having children, everybody I went to high school with had a, their, all the families had a big meeting. It's like, honey, it's time for us to have kids, but before we do, we need to buy a Pontiac Trans Am or a Pontiac, some some sort of Pontiac, or Buick. Okay, so they went out, bought a car, got jiggy with it that night. Nine months later, well, maybe okay, maybe not that soon because the kid would have to drive at 16. And most of these cars were like maybe 10 years old, somewhere around there. Maybe after one night when the kids were having a sleepover after a, a, a Chuck E. Cheese. Dad, I'm going to stay up till 9 and go over to Billy's house after we go over to Chuck E. Cheese. All right, son. And the parents went out the next day and bought a car. That's how it works. Uh, something like that. I'm still working it out and figuring it out. Where's that glow coming from? Is there a light outside? What, 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 what's going on? My pry bar wouldn't stop swinging. My first car was a 2002 Pontiac Grand Am. Bought it for 500. I had a 93 Grand Prix. Yeah. I swear there was some sort of rule. It was like a law that went out. My first car was a truck, brother. My first love was the open room. Never broken my heart yet, gentlemen. I need to go down there and get those samples. Also, it was a manual. I've always driven a manual. Always. I don't even know if you can... I feel like that's a a specialty item now. It's like I do feel like if I went out to just go get a Honda or a Toyota, I'd be like, uh, "Do you have any manual transmission, sir? That's an import item. I don't. 
let me check with the regional manager to see if any dealership in the tri-state area had no sir we don't there's not a man there's not even a there's not even a technician who could repair we've, we've called everywhere there's, sir you ask for such things we just cannot provide Could we interest you in a free pen and a air freshener? Oh yeah, all the Grand Prix were also dark green. Or like beige. Again, I think it was a legal requirement. Yeah, everybody had to have like the forest evergreen green Grand Prix. Or white, yes. Yeah, I do. I do remember white, dark green. Actually, come to think of it, I don't remember any beige. I think I was thinking of white, but because we're talking about high schoolers and teenagers, they were all dirty. So I was thinking of them being like a some other color. I hate that wriggling wreck thing so much. Annoying. Yeah, man, I, I don't know. Manual is just so much more, con in my opinion, it's just so much more control over the vehicle. It's so fun. You feel connected to the road, but I don't trust that stuff, man. Automatic transmissions is like, is it going to shift? Like, I feel it, in my mind, it's just so efficient all the time. Okay, the zone's closing. We're going to skip this and go for the two plugs and get out of here. Oh, there's more plasma. All right, we'll hit that up on the way back. Plasma towers. Dad tried to teach me that manual transmission couldn't get the hang of it. I gotta give myself credit, chat, because I. Back in like 2017, when Strombi visited me, we went to drive tanks together, and some of those old old Soviet tanks all have manual transmissions. And within about eight minutes, I went from like being shown how to drive a like how to shift a Soviet transmission on a. It was a T-54 or a T-55. There's videos of me driving it on the channel. But I went from, like, this dude just showing me with, a, like, with literally two metal bars on how to shift this thing. So I went from, like, you know, a car transmission to a tank transmission, no problem. I think the dude was being nice, but he was just like, I've never seen anybody get to those high speeds on these roads, bro. I'm like, where's the war at, Chief? Where do you need me? Great. I, I was just surprised myself at how quickly I was able to learn. I'm like, how the hell did I do that? Stop at this shock tower here. This is convenient. Uh oh, that's just a little damage. It'll bump out.
Now. I still have a little time. I'm going to go back to that other tower. Watch out, kids. I'm moving the seat back. Guys don't automatics are just, they're too dangerous. It's unproven technology. I don't like it. I think jet engines should have a manual transmission. Raptor doesn't work that way. Well the zone's closing very slowly. Um I think I'll stay on the road, but try to find more targets of opportunity. Are we there yet? I'm hungry. Look back in the inventory. There's um, there's some expired food. Did we? I think, yeah, we already went in there. We're trying to get fueled up here. Probably not a bad idea. If I don't like automatics, what do I think of Teslas? That's a good question, because I feel like that's a completely different type of vehicle. Even though that's a car, to me, that's just kind of like a golf cart. A glorified golf cart. And I don't mean that bad. I just mean, like, that it's an electric motor. Like, that's the only other thing I can equate it to, that you can drive like that. Or that most people have probably driven. that down there. Oh, it's one of those deposits. I know it's a uh, the lead site. Is it? No, it's a deposit site. What is it? It's a deposit. That's what's nice about nighttime, though. Most POIs kind of have lights on so you can see them. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we're going for that one. A pod just dropped. We're going in, boys. We're going for the pod. Well, this was the easiest one ever. Alright, boys. Loot goblin mode engage. Let's see what we got. Flip on the radio. Good luck. Woo! What? Oh, hello. Okay, we got a couple of repair kits. That's great. Uh, lead plated panel. Okay. I can't pull that off. Oh, it's because it's probably because this is something else. Hold on. There we go. Trash. 
dash that. Nice, boys. Loot Goblin mode was successful. Now we just got to exfil. Where'd that go? Hey, where'd the panel go? Where'd the panel go? What the hell? converted to a circuit board? What the hell happened? Whatever. Oh, I put it in the side rack. Oh, thank you, Chad. I don't know how the hell I did that. I think I know why. Thank you, Chad. much damage from my derpiness, but that's fine. We're out of here. Not today, Satan. Well, with that blowtorch and a little bit of that repair putty we got, we could definitely uh, easily buff that out. Alright, in the next zone we have unlimited time, so we'll repair. Wow, that area gave us tons of uh, materials. And we have unlimited time in this next zone, so let's go! Unfortunately, with perpetual stability, you don't get the drop pod, so that's okay. That last one was a pretty good haul. And because we got one panel, that means that we, well, one less thing to make. I wonder if Opie's going to talk to us. There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Mall to have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Alright, bad news. Since this has a little star next to it, it means we can't repair it. But some of you suspected we might be able to repair these with blowtorches, so let's try. Negative. So those are just unrepairable? Well, 
Well, it's, not, it's nice to get a part for free and all, but like if I can't repair it. I feel like, you know what we could, uh, I don't even know, it, maybe it'd be a good idea to salvage those. Like bring it back, salvage it, get some of the parts and then make our own that we can actually repair. Maybe that'd be a good thing. Oh, they, they made these blowtorches last a lot longer now. Okay, low torch is much better than I originally assumed. Before you could repair like two parts, this is actually pretty good. Alright, not bad. I'll we'll do it on fuel. Oh, we're good. He wants us to go there. Oh, there was a repair thing there. Well, that's yeah, all good. Testing out the blowtorch was good because now we know the... Um, I wouldn't have tested it out otherwise. Now we know the... Um, that the blowtorches are quite effective, actually. Salvage it right before it breaks so you can use it for longer. I have a feel. I, I think the developers put it in so that way, if something's got low durability, it gives you less parts back. So I don't know if I'd get enough parts to make another one. It requires something we don't have yet. Like I think it's called swamp eggs or something. Renewable power. Fully charge a car battery from under 50% using only natural resources. Oh. probably can't repair it until you learn how to make that part. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a good uh, that's a good thought. But we did find a, a, a door earlier with Sasquatch on the side of it, and it wouldn't let me repair a steel door. Which, like, is unlocked pretty much from the beginning. You just need the parts for it. Target fully repaired. So this is what those limb tech workers were using to repair their cars and has something to do with like light and radio frequencies. Oh yeah, we're gonna scan this thing. This is how we know about how music and stuff repairs certain things, certain frequencies.
anchor points. Uh, why are tiles dark and green and others... Wait, what? Oh, hold on. I died. Oh, you're asking... Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, it has to do with durability. Yeah, that, that like, blue-green color there. Like, um, light green... Me uh, the light blue, I think, means they're in the perfect condition, and then darker colors, then they'll turn yellow and then red, meaning that there are different levels of damage, I think, on that computer. Oh, gotta turn the lights off, too. Transmuter. Duct tape to 9 volt batteries. Eh. Eh. Yeah, that's how the Ecto 1 got repaired. That's right. Cross between the Ecto 1 and, and the Griswold's wagon. I think so. There certainly is some Ecto 1 vibes to the front end of the car, and definitely some uh, Griswold vibes to the other parts, yeah. the extra loot capacity.
the transmuter. Here's the gas cylinders. Nah. Nope. Lots of good loot in here. Lots of good loot. Was packed to the brim. That's all the standard stuff, but it's all like it's a lot of it. I don't think I can go in those containers. Lake? What? Um, yeah, we're going there last. I don't even want to pick up whatever she wants me to pick up or whatever because it could trigger some sort of cataclysmic event. Hey, what's up, E4 Mafia? Thank you very much for watching. Good to have in the stream. You watched the video since middle school? Whoa. That doesn't mean since yesterday, right? What do heck? I wonder if we still have that... Oh, yeah. I think there's still that bug where... Uh there's a radio in these garages and we can't break it down. Sometimes there are. That one we can, though. Houses remind me of Generation Zero. Ah, peaceful looting. not creepy or anything at all. Excuse me. Eddie soldier. Forgot what game it was, kind of third person eagle eye game. Oh, uh, oh, it could be anything. Metal War Assault Squad. It's 
steel division call to arms thanks for watching man yeah that's certainly a while no, there. there can be a backpack up there on the roof huh. either that's supposed to be on the ground and spawned on the roof or I'll have to keep an eye out all right where are we at we have cleared these ones, I think. Kind of hard in this area to tell what the hell house you've been to. But then again, some of them are not. You can't go into the house, but you can go around the house. Let's go get the car. Graduated high school in 2019. Ah, okay. And then that, if you were watching in middle school, then you were watching since the beginning. Or at least of that stuff. That thing absolutely shreds the car. You don't want to mess with that guy. Nothing in here, though? Hmm. I think them, that's them feeding Colossal Cat via a carrot. Or that's the bunnies. What does it take to upgrade the scrapper to the plasma cutting head? Uh, we gotta get the workbench to tier 2, and that requires unstable energy. So I think first we gotta get further in the story, which we're doing now. Because in order to go to new areas, apparently we need a map. That's what we're here for. Okay. 
Wasn't that a Pokemon? It was, yeah. <laughs> Going around in the sand like that. Well, look at this. We have two more points for Limb. Let's try to drive up. Nah, let's go to the barns first. Cook the food before we eat it to be on the safe side. These are MREs, brother. Their meals ready to eat. Well. I should have been chucking flares at these guys, honestly. I'll do a few groups at a time there. Oh. Actually, some luck. Got lucky with that one. Yeah, we do need to find tourists. We do need the tourists, yep. Apparently there's a thing out there called a tour bus, so that's supposed to make finding those guys easier. That's a wriggling wreck, isn't it? No. Vanga bus. It's the bus from the um, uh, Six Flags commercials back in the like 2000s. The old bald guy would pull up with the uh, the Greyhound Chrome bus. You missed our car upgrades. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to the garage and do some more upgrades. That's the kind of game where you're always constantly changing something. Another thing we can't break inside of a barn. Alright. So telephone we can't break and the radios we can't break. That'll have to be patched. Got on the Manor Lord's kick recently, came across some of your old videos and streams, love the content, brother. Yeah, there's another one called uh, Kingmaker coming out soon too, that I think is a city builder. Everybody was like DMing me about it. Like, I got an email for it yesterday or the day before from the developers. Like, they sent out, like, an APB, like, emailing everybody. Hey, here's our game. Check out our trailer. And then everybody on Discord was DMing me, too. So maybe I'll make a video on that one and be like, oh, my God, look at this. I, I do like to make every once in a while those videos where we, like, just look at a trailer because, well, everybody here is like, dude, you're going to check it out? Are you going to play it? And then I can always just say, yeah, check out my video on it. Like, you know, we talk about it a little bit, and I mention I'll play it. But I like getting excited about, you know, new games that have a release date coming and hope hope that they're good, you know? Like, for example, there's there's no doubt that Manor Lords is going to be good, but the question is, how good will Manor Lords be? You know what I mean? Is it going to be really, really good, or just good? Can I scan them? 
Uh, those things I've already scanned, but I haven't scanned the abductors, which are these little... They're like these little robots that hover around with the blue light below them, and then they try to take our stuff. They're the same guys who, like, grab the car and pull it around. They're a little annoying. Grab some MREs. Okay, car needs a little love, but we're okay. Oh, there's a gas station. All right, we'll hit up gas station thing up there, and then that other thing. on the gas station. If I blow those guys up, I don't know if uh, the thing will fall down here. Oh, it did. Get this last guy. These guys are dropping a ton. Whoa, whoa, indeed. Wow, that was worth it. guys seem to be dropping way more than they used to. Wait, is there one in there? Oh, it's just these lights. Mechanics kits, nice, thank you. And that's probably it. Yep. Well, thanks, pal. Right, let's go get the car. Radios, black and white TVs, we're wrecking them all, yeah. Hey man, they got circuit boards in there, they've got copper wire, they've got, um, I think the radios come with 9 volt batteries. Okay, anything else to offload?
Yeah, it was a pretty nice shot on that guy on the roof, yep. Oh, we got the electronics kit. Or the electrician's kit, good. Oh, that's what it looks like now. They changed it. Okay, so now it looks like a wire stripper. Kind of like the way it looked before, honestly. You could tell it was a circuit board, but maybe they thought people would get confused with the circuit, um, the actual circuit board and electronics. Yeah, there is a portable portable vacuum cleaner, yeah. I haven't had the opportunity to use that yet, so I'm not sure if it's got like its own inventory or if it just pulls into your own. It'd be cool if it had its own inventory. Then you could just suck it up till it was full and then like just put it into a into storage or something. But that seems a little bit of an exploit. Yeah, there's there's a vacuum for out in the field. Lim hair, 1973. A limb hair salon? Something drop. Oh, did it fall through the map? Yeah, it must have been a must have been a part, like a hand or something. Oh, there it is. Wow, this one's not glowing at all. They should they should provide a little glow. There should be a little red glow underneath. Otherwise, those are going to be too hard to find. Steel bumper, don't need that. Could break it down for parts though. I mean, we have the extra space. Essentially, it's like a dumpster pearl. We get full. Oh. 
sodium for the vacuum? I don't know. I haven't. I have to research the vacuum first. I think in the de in the demo that we got to play for creators, we got it for free. But I would always just scrap it because I needed something out of it to make the liberator. I think. guys came out of no nowhere. Oh boy. Oh man, I know they dropped one of those thermal saps, but now I don't know where it went. Can't see those damn things. Oh, there's one. How much did you miss? I guess it depends on how long you've been joining. But the good news is, if you ever miss anything, you can always come back to the VODs afterwards. All these get saved as a VOD after. So you may watch at your leisure. Well, there's not too much on the left side of the map. I do need that, though. We're going to have to go down into that pit. So let's go back there. Let's follow this road. There's one uphill close to the car. Oh, come on. You never catch the streams, you're glad you're here now. I hear that a lot. More and more people being like, hey man, I just want to drop in for a little bit. Have to watch live. That's cool, man. I, I love it when you guys get a little chance to watch live. I know uh, more people, I think, watch the VODs, of course, than the live, because the VOD is up forever. The live is only a few hours. That's cool. A big shout out to everybody watching in the VOD. It was worth looking for. What upgrades did we get? Um, so we we have now insulated um, like doors and panels, so we're protected against electrical attacks. And we found a insulated panel earlier, which is for radiation protection. There was a drop pod earlier. We went to that. Uh, I think that's where the insulated panel was in. So I guess like at the beginning of the game. I did mention that there is a sign that says something about like it's a launch site and that uh, you know there's going to be loud volumes and stuff so whatever they were doing here they were launching stuff into space because then there's drop pods coming back down from space so I don't know what the hell they were shooting like capsules up into space to like see what would happen when it re-entered the atmosphere or something I they were doing something
Oh, you think it was the one I grabbed already? Okay, cool. Hey, it doesn't hurt to double check. Like, usually we can't double check because we don't have the time. So a lot of things we just kind of have to run by. Oh, that was a horrible throw. Why was that so far to the left? It looked like something dropped, but I think it was just scrap metal. I have seen them drop scrap before. Yeah. Oh, plastic. Oh. That's good. Uh, no, I didn't upgrade the engine yet. Uh, the reason we haven't upgraded that is it takes 42 of those um, thermal sap things that we're picking up from the tourists, so we haven't gotten enough yet. However, reading some of the documentation, the game uh, makes a reference to something called a tour bus, which I could only imagine is filled with tourists, and so that may, may be a crazy way to get a bunch of uh, thermo sap somehow by blowing that up or doing something. Game is so cool. Be a good spot for a screenshot up here. I miss when we had uh, in the demo when we had the radar and all, all the other stuff on the car. That looks cool. If you picked a flower, someone may join you. Just a little pro tip for those of you who want to do YouTube. This is how you make a thumbnail. Eventually you get good enough to where you just, you know. Um.
Ours is a little too gray. If only it were orange or something. Uh, name one successful AI robot villain. Uh, Jeff Bezos. Touch up the front a little bit. A little damage. Actually, uh, a little radioactive here, too. Hi. He wasn't there before. I need to get some new hammers. About to break. Yeah, those damn thermo things are so hard to see. I want them to um, perhaps put a little underglow on those. Otherwise, I, I might just turn on the... There's like a little accessibility mode to more easily see everything, but I feel like I don't need that. I just want those things to glow. You know, it'd be nice is if they pulsed. If they pulse red, then that would be cool. Like, like that. Well, they, they do, but I mean, more visibly. repairs when we get to the gas station. Guys are creepy. <sighs> What's up, Brute Storm? Going good. Hope you're doing well as well. Welcome aboard. Alright, repair time. So, front end looking a little rough.
careful, careful. Don't want to set these guys off yet. Well, it's nice. We're getting a ton of thermal uh, stuff. I'm snacking while I'm dying of radiation. Thank you very much, dude, for the raid as well. This is the mission to find out your car's remnant. Uh, yes, we've completed that mission. And by jumping through that large red anomaly in the middle of the map, we do we do find out that our car is, like, haunted or possessed or whatever. And uh, we got past that part. Now, the, the woman who asked us to come here to, do, to make that uh, test or to run a test has asked us to return to this area for something else. We're looking for maps now to uh, get further into the zone. We have to go to a guard tower, essentially, and just pick up a quick little um, map. But while we're here, I'm gathering a bunch of other materials, too. There was a guy next to the car. Oh. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and back out slowly. Hello, how are you? And you make your live stream really nice to watch. Thank you! I'm good, Grim Reaper. I hope you're good too. By the way, speaking of good, the good people over at, uh, I think it's Ironwood is the name of this uh, publisher. Forgive me, it slips my mind, but they sent over a red toolbox, and one of the things in there was a. Um, mechanic, um, like a mechanic's uniform with my name on it. And, uh, I'm also going to post some pictures today of some other stuff they sent over. Exclamation point Instagram, exclamation point Twitter. If you follow me there, you can see the toolbox and all the cool stickers and other stuff that they put in there. And also, uh, they sent, like, a little model of the car. Like, th this station wagon, they sent a model of this, and, um... It goes on like an LED stand that makes all sorts of, like the lighting here. It makes it like really weird, creepy lighting. It looks really cool. So I'm going to put up a picture of that. I took some pictures of it. And I'm going to put it up on, on Twitter in just a little bit. And Instagram. So follow me on both. Do you use Bondo for car body repairs? Yeah, essentially that's what it is. Repair bot. Putty. You know what's great is that you can literally throw that putty like at the engine, it works. If you throw it on the tires, it works. It won't, uh, you know, rem it won't seal them if they, uh, if you get a flat or something like that, but. Boom. That's all we got. Scam. How does controlling the car feel? Yeah, it feels really good. I, I did turn up the... I'm playing with an Xbox controller, and I turned up the sensitivity from, like, 1 to 1 1.5, and it's much more responsive. But the car is... Um, it's almost like how it feels driving a vehicle in, like, SnowRunner or, um, or like, MudRunner. The car definitely has some, some weight to it. It doesn't feel like it's... Um, you know, like a ultra-heavy, uncontrollable station wagon from the 70s, but it's, um, or, well, this is an 83 model, but 
it's got some weight. It's got some feel to it. But I really feel they, they put a lot of great effort into the car. A lot of people were kind of like wanting other vehicles too in the game. But the devs went all in on like one very good, you know, versatile vehicle. And I never thought of this before, but it would be really cool to see a station wagon in like Mud Runner or Snow Runner. Essentially, they do kind of have those vehicles, right? Like there are, um, like a lot of off-road vehicles are basically this, just minus like remove the the back passenger section. Like if you if you get rid of the second row of seating, you basically have yourself like a Bronco or it, you know a lot of those little little off-road vehicles like that were just kind of shortened. Uh, station wagons in many ways. Plus you can drop a V8 engine in this bad boy and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, this game has a really good ability for things to go really wrong and then really, really good. Luckily we're in an area that has uh, perpetual stability so we're not under the we're not under time constraints where the zone's going to close in on us. So I'm glad that they did that, where every zone's not like impending doom. There's some areas that are a little more safe, some areas that are a little more... Um, there's like a little bit of a push to get out of there and get home, and then there's other areas that are like, I shouldn't be here. Why did I come here? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think there's third person while driving, no. All the HUD is inside the car. The so things like health, fuel, energy. Let's listen to some tunes. Yeah, there are areas that are like high risk, high reward, but it's like um, you get so little time that you might not get a reward at all. Your reward is just survival. But some of the runs are like, you know, you go into one area, then go home and get a little bit of stuff. Sometimes you can go into two or three areas, get a lot more stuff, but you know. But that's what's fun about these roguelike games. All this looting. New phone, who dis? I think we'll have to unlock that fax machine, too. Also, thanks for all the uh, follows on Instagram and Twitter lately, too, by the way. It's been cool to see more people coming by and saying hi and also don't be afraid to join our discord too exclamation point discord uh, like I mentioned a lot of you guys were telling me that there was a contest for this game to like get your voice and and a bobblehead after you bro imagine a raptor bobblehead with me screaming at you on the radio I don't know what I would say but oh, thermo sap was right there dude it's amazing those the, man I must have walked by so much thermosap. Those are so hard to see, like, when you're looking for it. Like, I specifically threw flares at those guys to make them blow up, and I couldn't even see it. Let's go to this end of this road, and then we'll turn back. Maybe there's a van or something here. It pays off to take your time in this game. It really does. When you can. Wow, we made it through the night, now it's like morning. Beautiful. I don't know what that massive structure is over there. Oh. Yeah, this game does a very good job of letting you struggle and then fight your way out. Yeah, I've had it happen many times before where the car is almost dead and I pull over and somehow get it, get things fixed up and then get the hell out of there.
people. Don't be afraid to cosplay. I mean, bro, a dinosaur on the hood would be way cooler than me. Remember what they did in uh, Dave the Diver? They put me with a dinosaur head on. Like, that was the most unique character. I didn't choose that. They did that. They were like, hey, what do you think? I was like, bro. It's amazing. Now we gotta play the Godzilla DLC. I haven't even started the previous Dredge update. Oh god. What happened to the tunes? Oh, yeah, no trip is the same in this game. Even though we're in the same area, yeah. We're finding all new stuff. Well, new cars are on the road in different places, and then also there's uh, the houses that we've been to are in the same spot, but again, different different stuff. Wow, shopping cart. I feel like we went down this road. Oh, you get motion sickness, but the settings allow you to play. That's good. Yeah, the accessibility options are insane. There's a lot of them. Good to see. Have I been any new any new biomes yet? Uh, kind of. Like, there's an area called the Blistering Woods, but it looks like it's really hot, but it doesn't seem to affect anything yet. We're doing a main story quest right now, so we should unlock some new stuff in a minute. But I'm also, like, going full loot goblin mode, because, you know, if we get further in the story, what's going to happen is there's probably going to be some super dangerous area where the car needs to be really upgraded to get to, where we're going to need to gather stuff anyway. So that's what we'd be doing. Plus, there could be a van around. trucks or something. Okay, so when we get to the bottom of this road... And Rootstorm, thank you very much for the follow. Um, we've been to these, these, I don't think we went up here. We did not go up there yet. I went here. I don't think I went to that one. But we went everywhere else. So we can go here, here, and then there. And that'll, and then we'll be done. Plasma. It's gonna be hilarious in this game as if As if putting a racing stripe would make the car faster. It'd be hilarious. Will you have a tag attached to your overalls for the mechanic frame? What? It would be cool to wear that mechanic shirt, but I don't know. It's such a rare item now. Oh, 
Rod, thank you very much for dropping a tier one gift sub over on Twitch as well. Exclamation point Twitch if you guys aren't following over there. The train is pulling out the station. The wind is blowing us away, somebody. Stop this. I didn't even know I could honk the horn without looking at it. Bro, I played the whole demos and this game, and now I just I just found out you can press down to do that. Also, I found if you start picking up all the anchors in the zone, it starts collapsing. Oh, really? That could be. It's fuel truck here. I'm your number one YouTuber. You've been watching me since 2006. Damn. Ooh, fully loaded. Oh, I'm not going to be able to reach. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, we don't need gas. We're fine. Okay, so we want to go this way. Wait. Down north. Mediocre at best. Yeah, that's me. Oh yeah, there's key bindings, yeah. Yeah, that adds to the whole accessibility thing in the game, too. I, I love it with the, um, with a lot of options. Options are just good, because then you can kind of... It's less for modders to do later on, you know? Like, imagine in the future when Skyrim is still around, and people are doing, like, you know, 14K... Not 4K, but 14K mods. We've already been to that truck. You know, people will upgrade the graphics of Skyrim to 14K. Yep, there's a reset button for when you flip the car, yep. I feel like I've flipped the car more in this, um, now that it's released than I ever did before. I think they've made things a little harder. I played a lot of the content creator demo we got access to, and I feel like this is a little harder. But if you played a lot of SnowRunner and stuff, you'll know these roads.
Damn, dude. That's pretty amazing. Look at that. Those rolling hills like that. How fast will the car go? Well, I would assume over 100 because the other day I got a steam achievement for doing 88 miles an hour. And, uh, I forget what the what the achievement was called. I think it was literally just called 88 miles an hour. I got another one called... Hey, there's a... There's a by the way, if, if you want to cheese one of the um, one of the achievements, I found this out accidentally. Uh, there's an achievement for having the car get six seconds worth of airtime. So if you go to the garage and you take the wheels off the car and then just hit the accelerator for like six seconds, the game is looking for, this is what I suspect, it's looking to detect whether or not wheels are on the ground and if the engine is, is running. Because the achievement is to like do six seconds while the engine's accelerating or something, like going over a jump. It's probably pretty easy to do if you hit one of those tow truck jumps, but um, yeah, so if you, if you just hold the gas and take the wheels off the garage, boom, steam achievement. At least that's how it worked for me. Unless they patched him. What's up, Emma? Hello, welcome back. Uh, we're good here. Are these the Alps? Uh, okay, we're going now. Let me go there. Ah, oh, this makes me want to play farming sim again and go run my little farm. My dairy farm. Go mow grass. Did I get a paint job? Uh, no. I haven't yet painted the car yet. I was waiting until I got the uh, insulated armor. Which we might have now that we got enough plasma. This is fine. Like I said before, I've rolled the car more in these streams than ever before. They must have made the car easier to roll. No, they made the mountain steeper, I think. That's what they did, yeah. Sure. Okay, that barrier jumped out in front of me. about that chat you'd never have to replace your tires if you just drove on your roof think about that put some new tires on your car and you'd be set for life Oh yeah, I wonder if the car will become top-heavy when we add stuff to the top of the car. I wonder if the, those types of physics are taken into account. Good question. Oh. Come on, let me hear tunes. in these trailers and check out what we got here. A 
a red toolbox pog. Yeah, good old headlight repair paste. That's right. Mm hmm. <laughs> hey, you know how it is. You got a burnt out light bulb on one of your uh, headlights in your car. You just throw a little Bondo on there and that'll fix it right up. Put Bondo on everything. Sore neck, aching back, constant headaches. Try Bondo. Runny nose, restless nights, try Bondo. What's up, Ragnar? Hello to you. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Can you upgrade the storage in the car? Uh, I believe so. I can't at the moment because I need to get some other upgrades first, but I think there is a way to do that. Also, we can upgrade the storage on the car, too. You can build uh, extra storage on the sides, like saddlebags. So there's certainly a lot of ways to hold more with the car. Gotta do the last search for plasma too when we leave. Gears to chemicals. And Well, we'd have to make a bunch of scrap into... take to make a gear. Oh, just three scrap metal? Hmm. Probably couldn't hurt, but... Do mm. you know how to get on stable energy? Yeah, we, we have to go further and further into the story. At least that's what I'm assuming. We'll get there. Okay, so we gotta go back to this trailer here. Can you upgrade tools? Uh, you can make better tools. But we need to upgrade our workbench first. Whoa, sir.
how many hours are we in the story now? Um, honestly, I'm not sure, but I do know that we're into areas that we've never seen before. Uh, we've jumped through Cappy and we found out that the car is a remnant and that we're going to go crazy at some point. I already was, so it doesn't really bother me that much, but maybe the main character will feel differently. We'll see. Are the tools upgradable? Well, we can, um, yeah, there's like, you can make tier 1 tools, tier 2, tier two, you know, like that kind of thing, but you can't, you can't like take a scrapper and then like increase its durability or something, but we can make better ones. Hopefully we don't need any more stuff for a while with all this stuff. We need to make a pry bar. Can I just punch this open? Oh, that'll work. Didn't know we could do that. definitely went to that one. Yeah, good question. Is the car driving us insane or are we driving the car because we're insane? Alright, almost done here. One more area to go to, and then uh, we'll do the main thing. This is all the music in Europe. This is the country music station. And don't lie, Europe. I've been there. I know what it's like. That was the top music of the Netherlands. I'm Henrik. Welcome back to the station. You're listening to Bob 102. Frank 2. Netherlands all the time. It's true. It's pretty good Dutch accent, actually. <laughs> And then the Swede, Norway, and Finland are, are all just death metal. And then Denmark's just kind of like, hey, could you guys keep it down? That's what Denmark's like. The number one radio station in Denmark is just literally that meme of uh, Donald Duck where he's like, he's pissed off and trying to sleep. And he's like lifting his head up from the cow or the, uh, the pillow. And he's like looking around like, who the hell's making all that noise? Oh, you want to be able to play your own music from the car radio? Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's a good idea. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I see an electrical tower over there. We should go get plasma from that. How do we get into this anyway? Oh, we need an electrician's kit. Wait a minute, if I repair that, I still need to know the code. Is that gonna be a waste of an electrician's kit? I'm gonna try it. So I think we have another one in storage. Yep. I wanna know how the hell to get in here. Am I gonna make the basketball station to shoot hoops in the garage? 
That's pretty cool. Oh, it worked. Alright, cool. We can shoot hoops. I like how the electrician's kit was basically, it looked like a 9 volt battery and some like tin foil or something. Now I'm playing on PC, but I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Okay, let's do final checks for plasma. I'll go get this one real quick. Nice try, pal. Yeah. There, there is a sound that goes off before the zone closes. Yes, there is a siren. And it kind of goes like... Bleep, bleep. Yeah, it was a MacGyver. Dude, we need MacGyver back, dude. I'm usually against remaking those shows, but I would like to see a modern MacGyver. But it would probably all just be computers. I think that's everything. Uh, let's go and get out of here. We're done. Wait a minute. There's a modern MacGyver, it had five seasons? Oh, no. That's a bad sign, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, then again, I don't think I've had cable or, like, even watched local television in at least... five years? Oh yeah, there's a... You can kick fences and stuff, yeah. I'm not walking through them, I'm like... I'm hitting X when I get close to it, then I just kick right through it. A door is a jar. What the hell is that? Why is that glowing red? Right door open quirk? Ooh, maybe. Oh, that could be a new quirk. 
that wasn't there a red light here or something? Let's see what might make that quirk happen. Putting the car in drive. Ignition. Turning off the car. Park. Light on, light off. Dreaded channel surfing, yeah. But that's exactly what, don't you guys think like modern TikTok and like yeah. Instagram, what are the, whatever the hell those things are called, and YouTube shorts, all that stuff is just channel surfing. Like you don't get, it's all, it's all calories and no nutrients, in my opinion. Like I'll watch, you know, every once in a while I'll get into those damn shorts too, until I correct myself and I'm like, no, this is all just trash. It, it, I do not like it at all. I don't think there's really any value there at all. It's all it's calories and no actual like value to it because it's like sure, you can watch a video on Neil deGrasse Tyson or something talking about space, but then they always just kind of like cut it off before any sort of real good information comes out or anything. And like sure, okay, maybe it makes you investigate further, but I really feel like what should happen with shorts is that it should lead into a larger video. But that's exactly what you can already do on YouTube anyway, right? Like, there's kind of that video preview where you can... Like, when you're on your phone, you can kind of hover over... Like, y if you stop scrolling on usual, regular videos, then the video will kind of start to automatically play. But it'd be nice if there was a video trailer before the video. But you're... I don't know, you're already watching anyway, so it's like, it's already a view. So like you're you're already watching it anyway, so it's not like it would be. I don't know. It's complicated, but anyway, regardless, it's just like if I'm watching Gordon Ramsay make the perfect egg and it's a YouTube short, it's like okay, that could probably be a YouTube short. But honestly, I would just rather see. At that point, I'd rather just see like ten quick meals from Gordon Ramsay or something. <laughs> When I honk, honk the horn, does the wheel turn to the, to the side? The wind is blowing us away, somebody. Stop this no. voice on me. Now I'm like getting all paranoid and think everything's going on. I have a fear about the future. Cause when you're building something new, there's some quality short. Yeah, there's always exceptions to the rule for sure. 100%. I just think in general it's just all trash. It's not trash. That's perhaps I could use a better constructive word. It leaves much more to be desired, which is its design. It's like a free sample. But when you like something, there's such a disconnect. You could watch a short and really like somebody or something that you saw or watched but then not be able to find the full thing in my opinion what are the dots on me that's just sunlight coming through the window Battery's low? Oh, that's alright. The car battery, the car will still start and function with the battery at zero. Yeah, that's a good point. Shorts. Shorts are like uh, candy. You, you can certainly have candy every once in a while, for sure. Chocolates and whatnot, but yeah, eat your vegetables. Yeah, for sure. Locked up tight, but you could tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Uh, oh boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the gods rotated. And things I saw. 
Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. The steering wheel is definitely pulling left and right, but I can't figure out why. Wait, wait, wait. What if we accelerate in D? I don't know, maybe the steering wheel is just kind of... Maybe it's just responding to the ground or something. Where's one of the wheels off? Hmm. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll get back and we'll figure it out there. What's up, Mon? Welcome back. Okay, well... I guess was, this was the tower I tried to get into before, and I was like, oh, it's locked via a keypad. How do we get in here? Alright, so we're looking for a map. Is. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. Okay. There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Uh, got cable TV installed in my house. Well, the night after the cable guy did his thing, I smelled the wires burning. Oh, God. The guy drilled into a power wire, so anyway, I have free cable for life. Wow. Dude could have burned down the house. Okay, if we hit this button, the zone's going to collapse around us. So, we should probably get as close as we can before it goes down. Alright, I think we should probably go down to where the train station is. So the edge of this thing is like right there. There we go. Yeah, we have an exit, but she wants us to go through the portal. Or wait. Proceed to next junction. Exit the area via the stabilized access road. Oh, never mind. They want us to drive there. Well, we have an option. We could do... What I had imagined we could do is we could leave and go back to the garage. And then later we could just come back here and do it all again if we wanted to. In other words... We could do what we just did all over again. Which would be good for materials, but bad for time. So we could do both. You can't stand TV anymore? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm... The last TV I really watched was when Breaking Bad was around and when uh, Better Call Saul started. And then the last, I don't know, ha half the show I watched online. Half the show I watched on TV. Okay, where's your... Actually, let's still get to this point, because that's where the road is. We'll just drive through hell.
Yeah, U.S. cable, yeah. I'm sure other, maybe other countries have some good stuff. But for the most part, it's like, hey, pay us. Pay us a lot of money. Can't find anything. Also, tons of ads. It's just inconvenient and expensive. That's why they all kind of started supporting streaming. It's like, oh, okay, we can do this now, but a la carte. When Netflix was around and it was the only one that was good, because, like, you know, when there's competition, when someone's trying to innovate for competition, like the beginning of YouTube, it's all good. Then later on, it all just becomes kind of watered down and then monetized. That's why everybody's hoping for a competitor to YouTube, but that'll probably... I mean, there are, but... It was something special when you could, like... You could watch somebody play a video game online. I couldn't find any of that on TV except for like G4 TV, which had some pretty good shows. And it was great that they would cover games. It was the only thing like that. So I was like, oh, this is the best because it was the only one. <laughs> but then people started to pop up and capture software got better. Internet latency got better. Everything was easier to upload and stream and watch. I mean, technically, when you're watching a YouTube video, you're kind of, you're just, you're streaming. That's why they call them the streaming services, even if you're watching, like, you know, uh, Clarkson Farm or something. Man, I need to get like a, a bulldozer on the front of this car just to go through small objects. We often go through little trees and fences just to get to where we're going. go there. Yeah, we need to weld a ram onto the front. Let's get get that bondo going. And also empty our inventory. We're going to a new area. New story, new lore. I don't know what's going to await us. Could be dangerous. It may hurt. Better than it was. Any food? Let's eat some food. There's some inventory space. It's another... Okay, so it's a safe place again. An artist site in the blistering woods. Okay. That's a new noise. <laughs> yeah. Our character's eating the whole tin. Just... I need, I need that tin. I need... Maybe it's iron. Made of iron. I need iron in my diet. The 
woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. Mm. That's what the pipes are for. Link stabilizer, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Follow the stabilizer pipes. I do have a map. I guess we can do them in any order. Oh, oh. There's supposed to be a road here. It's my turn to give you an explanation. Go on. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the Deep Zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any mad made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10 mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Widespread humanity. Alan Turner. Hmm. I wonder where he is now. Hmm. Uh. What was I doing? You threw me off. Mon, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships for the Chatty Chatters as well. Thank you very much for the support. Damn it, I can't remember what the hell I was going to do. Anyway. Okay, so we can leave. We can grab all three of these. Obviously, we, when we grab the third one, something's going to happen. We'll go down this way. To our right. Yeah, it's like Popeye eating uh, spinach out of the tin, yeah. here. A van. Yeah, there's definitely something up with the steering wheel. Crude headlight? No. Junker steering wheel. Some limb tech nearby. Nope. Oh, there's the tower. So now we're going to these pumping towers. Nearby. Ah. We're insulated against that. Wait, did the UFO on the Rearview mirror descend. 
Oh look, it's uh, it's abducting the car. I didn't I didn't see that before. Hey, more um, more lead plating. Let's go get that. You pay for YouTube Premium because the ads are horrible. Yeah, I know. Like that's their business model. Let's financially bully our uh, viewers into submission. I don't, I don't mind some ads. ads. Ads are okay, but... When it becomes more about skipping them and watching for them and getting ready to... You're basically preemptively standing by to just basically hit the skip button. I think it's a waste of the advertiser's time, too, because it's like... I'm Ryan Reynolds from Mint... Oh, skip. And then a half second later, I don't even remember what the ad was. But I mention it now because they continuously hammer with those damn Mint Mobile ads constantly. But all it's done is made me spite Mint Mobile and Ryan Reynolds. But he got what he wanted. I mentioned him three times like Beetlejuice. Does the car in the game have a name? Oh, I don't know, we could name him randomly, like Alan Turner, for example. Where's that tower? There, okay. Yeah, on YouTube, if you do uh, YouTube Premium and watch the channel, yeah, I get a cut of that YouTube Premium. It, it's all based on how much you watch, too, which is cool. So if you watch a ton of me and you have YouTube Premium, then you're blocking all my ads, but then, like, supporting me at the same time. So it's like a win-win. Twitch kind of had that same thing for a while, too, but I think Twitch Turbo, which I think is a thing still, but hidden, or maybe not. I don't know. I'm just a gamer who likes to game. Good, good thing we brought the extra storage. I didn't realize we were going to a third area. And we're getting full. Gotta throw the switch. I hope this doesn't start a countdown timer but just by flipping one switch. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel short when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of satin sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And, uh, what about you, Oppie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. 
must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But were you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? <laughs> okay. Wow. Touchy. Okay. All right, let's go to the research site. See anything interesting? Must just be a section of the pipe. I'm wondering what that red light was. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. <sighs> Don't start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lim to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. And where do gamma rays come from? But out of space. Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Oh. Tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? The hell? Or a portal? A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis! Of course! Now why didn't I think of that? That's absolutely it! Hmm. Tours that drop plasma. Weird. Oops. You think she's lying? Hmm, could be. Let's fuel up. We have a flat tire. Out of room for most things.
Okay, all done. Gonna need a bigger boat, that's right. Or at least a bigger inventory. Get some fuel from there if we need it. Okay, I already went in this one. You know, Smoke Eater, thank you very much for the gifted membership on YouTube as well. Thank you. There's some more pry bars in the car? Okay, good. We may need those. Another dumpster. Oh, there's a new type of anomaly. Shocked tourists. Okay. Okay, so they might drop plasma. Interesting. Oh, it's all good, Smoke Eater. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, one or 100 uh, gifted memberships means a lot to everybody. So thank you very much. Then you can use this emote all the time. Check and figure this one out. All the chatty chatters can spam their chatty emote for the chats. Did we find the tour bus? No. We are finding out that there's different versions of these tourists, though. Apparently there's a shocked version of them too, so yeah, the tourist bus must be a thing as well. That's like a modifier for them.
Inventory full. Yeah, we can probably get rid of these now. They're broken. We'll make new ones. We need new ones. I think it's one of those eggs. Oh no, this is my flare. It's bouncing out the uh, the fuel barrel there, so I thought it was a. Okay, they were good. stacked. What is that screeching? Why am I hearing screeching now? Definitely hearing screeching. Maybe we'll find a uh, big old full fuel truck soon. Alright, there's a tower there. We'll just go to the next tower. We'll go up the road and then take a right. Actually, I'll just mark the... Mark the intersection. There we go. That's why we got the insulation protection. We still take damage, but it's far less. Oh, good. We need to scam one of these guys. But I did scan. An abductor. Well, there must be a different type, then. Lots of anomalies, though. There'll be there'll be plenty of these guys in the game.
Apparently there's a road here. Oh, here, okay. So much vegetation, like in a jungle. Lost? Find a cool in pipe and follow it. We're fine. Lots of rocks. Got to be some more Arter trucks around here somewhere. Devil Dog with five gifted memberships for the YouTube chat as well, dude. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support. We're going to have some more orbital strikes tonight, I have a feeling, chat, with Helldivers 2. Let's listen to lore. Uh, hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone's stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you, so yes. It's our business now. How about this? You two sign off, and count orbs, or whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Well, now suddenly she's heavily invested. Why? The hell with that! We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever! This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You wanna play that game? You really wanna talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppie. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's gotta be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look. If you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings or squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. And we're better off without them, trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. This really is my last chance. Okay, hold on a second. She just changed her attitude. With it. Within the last, like, two beacons, she went from like, yeah, you know, I'll help you out and stuff like that, to suddenly this is very important now. 
She changed real quick. Like now suddenly this is an incredibly important mission, but she can't elaborate what it needs to get done. But she doesn't want anybody else interfering, and she doesn't want to talk about it. She wants out of this place? Yeah, for sure. But what information did she just gather? I, I saw something red go all the way up over there into, into like the trees. It's miles away. Not now. Dangerous out here, sir. There's bears. So I guess that's what the fall damage boots are probably for, is when those guys pick you up. Is that anything good? Oh, my scrapper. Yeah, I'll do that. I just want to go down here. And then we'll go the other way. Find out what's at that tower. Yeah, suddenly we became um, VIP number one, and she wants to, like, help us. Or at least have us do stuff for her. It's very, um, you know, would you kindly right now. Yeah, that's too much electricity. I'm not going down there. I wanted to go to the edge and see if there was maybe another van and stuff, but... These roads are pretty thick with forest. Let's see what's in here. Dude, we're going to come back like absolutely filled to the rafters on this thing. little bit of room. Hey, let's uh, heal up the car a little bit.
Got to get rid of that damage. Yeah, they better build some lightning rods on the side of this road. Yeah, this road's got some big problems with electricity. These guys need to up their road budget. space and got the car a little closer to 100 percent there's a tower to our right emotional damage We are overdue for a van or an Arta truck. We gotta see one. You know, I'm surprised we're not seeing. This is a peninsula, right? So there's water on three sides. Not a single boat. You'd think somehow this remnant would, or rather the stuff going on in this place would somehow summon a boat. There's gotta be. Years to chemicals. Yeah, I don't know if you could take that big carry trunk with you. I think they thought about that. I don't know if you can bring that along. I didn't even try because I figured they kind of stopped you from doing that. Damn electricity. Glad we got the armor. Oh boy. Am I going to watch Bannerlord's new trailer? Always fun to hear my thoughts on it. Is there a new trailer? Wait, were we here? 
No, I would have grabbed that box. And I see more lead. Oh, one day old? Cool. I didn't even see it. And I'm subbed to their channel. YouTube didn't send out a notification for content that I've subscribed to and turned on the notification bell for. I don't believe it. No way. I thought this trillion dollar company had my interest in mind as a viewer. Galahad, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Alright, well, there's a new Manor Lords trailer. I'll make a video on that. I'll make one on, uh... Uh, what is it called? Uh, King Kingmaker? Yeah, Kingmaker as well. New videos coming soon. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, yeah, I've subscribed to Mandalore and turned on the notification bell. I didn't get a notice about that either. You know what? It'll be funny. Here's what'll happen. I'm subscribed to a few sources, like official sources for Manor Lords. I've got the notification bell on for all of them. What'll probably happen is I'll make a video on their video, and then three days after my video comes out, YouTube will tell me that they posted a new video, except it's not new. It'll be the trailer that I covered on my channel days later. Like, oh, they have a new video. It's like, why didn't you... Why wouldn't you tell me the day it came out? Like YouTube would be like, new trailer for Titanic, releasing 20 years ago. Oh, we got the raspberry. We're just simply running out of space. I could stop by these other trailers to see if they've got plasma, maybe. Fabric to copper wire. No. Alright, let's try to... I think we're going to ditch this steel bumper. Yep. Steel bumper is going to go. New Wendy's. What's up, D? What's up, Swish Kid? Hello. Yeah, I must feed the algorithm. Well, that, that's how it works, too. But also, I like to cover everything on Manor Lords, because I kind of want um, everybody to re remember that it's coming out. Like, we, get, we got all this big hype, because we know it's coming out on April, I think it was 24th, I'm pretty sure. Like a month after my birthday. Oh, chat, we're going to do something fun for my birthday this year. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Is Wendy's your favorite fast food chain? Yeah, Five Guys is... Well, I don't know if I'd consider that fast food. I would say that it is fast food that's more gourmet. It doesn't have a drive-thru is what I mean. 
How many new things are available now that's full release? Well, there's a full story now. I mean, a demo was a demo, so now we've we've got a whole new game. And there is a lot. There's a lot of new stuff in that research uh, computer. Like, there's an insane amount of things in there. Some of which I don't think we're even going to use because we won't we just won't get around to them. All right, here we go to Europe mode again. Five guys. Yeah, nothing better than mustard, onions, and mushrooms on your burger. When you ask for not those things. Hi, welcome to Five Guys. What can we get you? A burger that has the following things not on it. Mushroom, onion, mustard. Right away, sir. One mushroom, mustard, an onion, burger coming right now. No! That's what I told you. How do you fix the brand account thing? Oh, right. Yeah, so on YouTube, I have a brand account as well. I don't know how I got it. But basically, it's like... If you have, like, a private user account, I should be able to gift you guys tons of memberships on YouTube. But I can't. And I asked why, and YouTube's like, Oh, you have a... Uh, you have a brand account. And I'm like, cool. Could I not have a brand account? No. We don't, we don't know how to fix things on our own on, on our own website. Like, okay. But you should do those giveaways, though. All right, yeah, I'd love to give away free memberships to people who watch me on a daily basis. How do I do that? Oh, you'll have to have a non-membership account. All right, how do I get that? Uh, you have to have a non-brand account. How do I get that? You can't, Smiley. It's really as if YouTube operates as if communism and the DMV became one. The Pullet Bureau and the DMV have just become one entity, teaming up finally together at last. Bureaucracy and incompetence together at last. Finally. Oh no, YouTube talk again? We talk about YouTube all the time, that's where we are. I complain on your behalf. All right, um... Oh, yeah, I wanted to get this. This viewer acting like their first time watching the stream. Why the hell could I not put this in the thing? takes up a two by three okay can you rotate that yes okay am I getting my finger bitten by Charlie for my birthday no but I have this superstition lately chat where if I if I announce what I'm gonna be doing it's not gonna happen I did that last year and said a bunch of things would happen, and then they didn't. So here's what I'm going to do. New policy is get everything done and ready, and about to be doing it, and then let it happen. So that way, if something comes up with me, or something comes up with someone else, or something else, then I don't have to, like... I don't want to, I don't want to excite and then disappoint, you know? Uh, I, 
can get rid of this wrapper, it's fine. It's like going over to a friend's house for barbecue and finding out that they don't have Sweet Baby Ray's. The barbecue sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's, imagine that. I don't even want to think about it. All the people who did graffiti in this town are very talented. Let's see if we can go up there. What is love? Uh, baby, don't hurt me. We gotta take the long way. How's it looking so far? Oh, this game looks great, feels great. I strongly recommend at least trying out the demo, and if you've enjoyed that, the demo's free on Steam, so if you've played that and you liked it, this just seems to get better and more interesting as time goes on. Now we'll see if the story delivers on the gameplay. The gameplay is really fun and all the stuff to loot is fun. The hazards and the anomalies and the, kind of like the enemies like that guy are all fun. Yeah, we'll play Red Dead Redemption 2. We'll play it this year. That's what we'll shoot for. This year is going to be a good year for everybody. And I get to include myself. Can I flare the bodies to make the electricity go away? Yeah, I can throw like a... Um, I can throw like a flare at them. And they'll explode, but... I'll worry about that later. We're going to go to this tower. Is that a section of the wall? All right, shenanigans are about to happen. Let's get ready. We may need to haul ass out of here, so let's see. shoot for that one if we have to leave, which I'm sure we will. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. More loot! Of course. No peachy.
Yeah, we'll loot first and ask questions later. Is it okay to drop pizza in my P.O. box? I, I mean, you can try. I don't think they'll allow that, but yeah. Oh, calm down there, Junior. All right, um, I think we're good to go here. Let's check these containers real quick, and then we're out. Let's flip Rippendello. Loot. Could be more loot. So we're going to destabilize the zone. Are we stabilizing it? Well, we'll find out. Okay. And the way looks clear, but I'm also getting spikes. The stability in your region is uh -oh. tanking. Yep. Get out of there. Yep. Fast. Yep. I can see it. Oh, it's literally just down the road. route sucks. even scared. This is as fast as we go, man. armor to protect against that so it's better to just go straight forward. Stabilizing the route. Activate the zone stabilizer. Yeah, there's always a bud, isn't there? Nice work out there. 
The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Ooh, we get to go to the mid zone now. Mid zone crossing. Oh, we're going over there. Okay. Great, so we're going deeper into the zone. This, this was all easy, this part. Now it's about to get a lot harder. Okay, so we'll offload, we'll repair, and we'll do a lot more next time. All right, guys, thank you very much for being here for our continued stream on the launch day, release day of Pacific Drive. Exclamation point Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to post some cool stuff up there for you all to see uh, some really amazing stuff that they sent over. And I'm going to be live in just a few minutes with our stream of Rail Route, which is also coming out today. So come say hi in that stream. We're going to be live in just a few minutes for our next Big O stream. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you all in just a bit. Thanks again, everyone. Bye. More Pacific Drive soon.